Okay, so let's give you guys some more practice. So here we're going to we're going to check that um, our formula for the arc length is consistent, even even in the case of it being a straight line. So here we've got a straight line here. Um, uh, this point here is uh, the coordinates here will be two comma five. So uh, so we can use Pythagoras here. So this would be two, and this here would be would be four. So Pythagoras says that it's um, it's sixteen plus uh, plus four, and then uh, and then square root it. So so that this length here is given by given by this. So now now use the arc length uh, formula to um, to to make sure that it's consistent with Pythagoras. Okay. So uh, work out the arc length even though it's a straight line. Work out the arc length from from zero to two. Okay. So so that's from from zero to two. Well, anyway, find the arc length from zero to two. Press pause and have a go. Okay, so looking at this, we we need to find the derivative. So um, so find the derivative of this. That will be two. Okay, and then we we need so once we've got the derivative, we need to square it. So squaring it would give us this. Okay, and then we need to add one. So now uh, so now add one. So that would give us a five. And then our normal routine would be to rewrite this thing in the form of something squared. So, um, so maybe you can do like this. Uh, so here we've got this squared. So now, um, now put it into our into our arc length formula. That's this thing here. Um, well, we don't really need this, but okay. Put it put it into into here. That will then take you to um, to here. And then now uh, now evaluate this. So integrate this it will give you this and then then it's going to be this take away this which is simply um simply uh, two root five so the arc length even though it's a straight line the arc length is is given by this so now let's check that is consistent with pythagoras hang on so earlier we worked out that um using pythagoras using pythagoras this here is four this here is two so this length here earlier was root root 20 so we we can rewrite the root 20 as root um root uh, four five times four we can rewrite we can rewrite this thing here as as this and then uh and then uh break break the two apart so it's like this root four and then root four really is two so it's really this so it is this formula is consistent even in the case of it being a straight line okay